Just two weeks after Max won the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix, the world's most competitive junior motor racing series kicked off at the very same Imola circuit to start the 2022 season. A fabulous field of 33 drivers from as far afield as Africa, Australia, Singapore and both North and South America lined up for the start of the ninth season of the series which also features the all new Tartus T421 car. Free practice on Friday was held in torrential rain which had cleared on Saturday morning just but the track was still wet. Antonelli, Dunn and Dominguez taking pole for the three races. Although Dunn was given a five place penalty elevating Frederick Lund to grid one for race two. The series got underway with Antonelli leading Camara for a Prema 1-2 in the early laps, reminiscent of years gone by when the red team won with the likes of Mini, Fittibaldi, Armstrong, Aaron and Stroll. But from there it started to unravel, Antonelli retiring with a gearbox problem and he would not be the only one to strike trouble. Conrad Lawson finishing in the gravel, avoiding his teammate whilst Brando Badoer stopped on circuit with alternator failure. Marcus Flack, who also raced with us in the final round of the 2021 series at Monza, and the American Arias Turkmechian came together in Tamburello, the same corner where Reed and Partyshev would touch moments later. Out front, Kamara, took the first win of the year from Ireland's Alex Dunn with Bedron third. Race two on Sunday morning saw pole sitter Lund miss the start, allowing Iron Lynx driver Ivan Dominguez to race into the lead. Another disaster for Antonelli and Lalson, firstly with the Italian making contact with Elias Perandio and Lalson coming together with Ukrainian Oleksandr Partyshev at Variante Alta. Badoe and Flak coming together into Ravata, which saw the Italian take flight. Dunn had pulled out a five second lead when the safety car was deployed, but he would pull away at the restart, winning in style from Stuka for a US Racing 1-2. Wharton an excellent third. A storming drive from Kamada to come from grid 31 to finish position 8. The final race of the weekend saw Stuka on grid 2 but go P1 off the start, a position he would not surrender. Starting grid 3 and Maya Wegg's hopes of a win were over after two corners when the Iron Dames driver was pushed into the gravel, dropping her to P18. A frightening moment for Dunn when he was sent airborne by the precariously placed concrete curb in Tamburello. Incredibly, he continued on. The Prema teammates Wharton and Antonelli were racing together until this moment saw them break the cardinal rule of motorsport. They made contact into the Ravazzo curves, a 10 second penalty awarded to Antonelli. Nikhil Bora's front right suspension was then destroyed by the same curb that saw Dunn take flight earlier in the race. That brought out the safety car. Kamara tried his best to go by Stuka, but the pole held on to take his maiden win, three different winners from the first three races. A great start for the first round of the championship, which is now led by Dunn on 58 points, nine ahead of Kamara, who in turn is four ahead of Stuka, with Wharton fourth in the standings. From here we go to the MotoGP circuit of Misano on Italy's Adriatic coast for round two. That's on the first weekend of June, we'll see you then.